Hey guys, uh, so I got a couple unboxings for you. This first one should be pretty quick. Uh, because of that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do some uh, updates before I get into that, tell you what's been going on these last few days. So, today is uh, Thursday morning. I think it's like three o'clock in the morning. Uh, Tuesday night, around five o'clock or so, uh, I woke up and I was absolutely burning. And I keep the AC pretty high, so I'm kind of used to, you know, getting a little bit sweaty when I'm trying to sleep. Uh, but it felt like I was running a fever, so I got up to uh, bump the AC down a little bit. And lo and behold, it was like over 10 degrees higher than what I had it set, which was kind of messed up. So yeah, my AC isn't working, and uh, like I said, it's Thursday morning right now. The uh, maintenance here is kind of infamous for being slow. Honestly, I think that's about 90% of uh, apartments. They tend to have really slow maintenance. So yeah, still no AC. Uh, so for a couple days, I uh, went back to my mom's house. I made several uh, back and forth trips to my apartment, to her house, so I kept on going. My mom likes it freezing in her room, or in her house, by the way, so I kept on going back and forth between a hot place and a cold place. That kind of messed with me a little bit, but uh, then you know, I was sleeping on their spare bed, uh, and they had family over pretty recently. Apparently. Uh, they got sick shortly after they left. And then I'm getting sick. So I think their bed uh, is infected. So yeah, not only do I not have AC, I'm feeling sick now. I do, I'm back in my apartment because I have a portable AC set up and I have a fan in my kitchen. I have a fan in my uh, living room. The only, uh, window I have I can set up an AC unit with is in my bedroom unfortunately. I have one window that stays closed and I have one window that's part of my balcony door. The only one that opens I can install a AC unit is in my bedroom. And honestly I don't even spend that much time in my bedroom. I spend most of my free time in the living room. But for now I'm located in my bedroom. But yeah so uh in a few hours Unless if I go back to sleep and sleep a lot. Plan on uh, picking up a COVID test because this doesn't really feel like your typical seasonal allergies. Uh, so I wanted to uh, make sure I don't have COVID. Mainly, like, I feel extremely low on energy. I haven't been going to work. But yeah, I have enough energy to do some unboxings, I think so. I want to start doing some uh, vinyl record unboxings. I'm really, I mean, I wouldn't say I never got away from vinyl records, but it's been a while since I've been particularly focused on uh, vinyl records, and I got a new uh, vinyl record in today. So, this is Smile, a light for attracting attention. So, this is kind of a new side project super group. Uh, Features uh, Tom York and Johnny Greenwood of Radiohead. Uh, their drummer is Tom Skinner. He's in a band called Sons of Kemet. I think he does a lot of like experimental jazz type stuff. Not really familiar with him though. But yeah, this has been my uh, most anticipated album this year. I've only listened to uh, some of the singles. I really like my first uh, proper album listening experience to be on CD or vinyl through speakers, just not big on uh, streaming and that sort of thing. The thing I do want to keep the stickers, sometimes I like to keep the stickers that come on my vinyl records, not all the times, but I think I'm going to keep this one. Look at it. Look at the back. It's got a gatefold. It's a 
track listing on it. It is a double record. So we've got some custom sleeves, lyrics, some yellow vinyl. Let's take a look at uh, the other records. Another custom sleeve with lyrics on the back. Some credits. Once again, yellow vinyl. Like I said, I haven't heard this album all the way through yet. Uh, songs I have heard have been uh, quite diverse, really. Say it loosely fits in kind of a uh, post punk category, but I'd say that's pretty loose, you know. You got some like piano ballads and kind of a little bit more uh, sort of alternate jazzy songs. It's pretty diverse, but yeah, that's a smile. Probably upload some sort of clip, might upload a review, I don't know. It'll be on YouTube and Instagram, assuming that they have songs on both of those, because there's a few that don't have songs on at least one of them, and I like to you know, have like the songs coming from the social network instead of just recording the crappy audio through my speakers on my phone. But yeah, that's my uh, newest vinyl record.